Hey guys, just got the bike out. Have not drove it probably in eight weeks. Um, tomorrow, Tom and I are going on a four day camping trip. So we're going to do some bird hunting. We're going to do some squatching. We're going to do some four wheeling. And uh, what I've got to do first off is I ordered a new set of holders, coal pin holders that go on the front of the bike just so I can throw my shotgun on the front of the bike. I had a boot on my last four-wheeler and I hated it. It was always in the way. And if you put a gun in there with a scope on it, it rattled it around, it always messed up the scope. So this time around, we're just gonna mount these on the front racks and we'll just throw the old 20 gauge in there and we'll go bird hunting with that. And that will be good enough. So I'll see you guys in a minute when I get these installed. And there we are, fully installed, ready to go. All right, so I'm mostly packed up. I've got the bike, the gas, all kinds of stuff in the car. So we've got groceries and sleeping gear and helmets and all my hunting stuff, my gun, ready to go. I'm just waiting for Tom. He has to work till noon and then he's actually gonna come over I don't have my truck, this is the problem. So I've gotta take the plug-in hybrid. Tom's gonna to pull my trailer and throw his four-wheeler in the back of his truck. Ah, it's just a, a pain not having my truck. Oh, I'm not done, I thought I was done packing, but I went upstairs because I forgot the bacon and then I found an extra beer. I had one more beer hidden up there. Oh, no! And dish soap, can't forget the dish soap. All right, see, Tom will tell everybody that he was waiting on me, but I'm the guy with the video proof. I'm packed, I'm ready to go. He's still scrounging for stuff. People have to work. He fake worked for a couple hours this morning, so he's gonna use that. How's it going, you getting everything rounded up? Yeah, I think so, four wheelers in. Nice. I have to hit the beer store and gas? He has to hit the beer store. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got a 60 in there. What kind of weekend is this? Two, two, si two 60s. Oh, I didn't even see the bottom one. Those aren't my uh, What are you taking me into the woods for, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've tried. You're here with Dumb and Dumber. We've spent literally 45 minutes trying to get a solution here because the tongue is too short. The distance between the jack stand right there and where the the ball is, is too short. The tailgate has to be down because the bike's in there. So we've got one of three choices and I don't like any of them. Well, I like one, but Tom doesn't. We remove that front piece, push his bike up and maybe we can get it to work. Tom doesn't like that one. We can take Tom's old trailer. I don't like that one. <laughs> or the third one, we spend a hundred bucks. Neither of us likes that one. And we get an extender to put in there if we can find one, if there's one in stock. We had to unload the beer. We should actually ha we should actually have a beer, Tom. <laughs> Some of you smart folks out there will say, why don't you just switch trailers? And Tom will tow this one and Gary will tow that one. The problem is I don't have the adapter for the lights for the camper trailer. I can't plug it in here. Tom has an adapter, but it doesn't fit. So we can't, I wouldn't have any lights and I can't tow this trailer or that trailer. Tom says weekend rates and single occupancy are double priced in his trailer so it's fine anyways unless i cuddle and i told him no freaking way all right let's get this show on the road we're only an hour and a half late so we're actually heading north into the territory where i did actually have my encounter at brian's camp we're going to be not too far away as the crow flies probably within 10 miles of that territory so and this is the same time of year so we'll definitely keep our ears out for any strange screams howls cries in the night 
as well as while we're traveling the back trails looking for birds, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for any kind of structures or arches or anything that looks out of the ordinary. I guess it's a pee break. Is that what's going on here? So the poor PHEV pulling the trailer was not having a good time. Well, it wasn't too bad, eh? Two liter engine, dude. <laughs> Two liter engine trying to pull the four wheeler. It was not having fun. All right, well, if I lose you on here, we're going to the 15 kilometer marker. Uh, I'll find I you. Won't lose you. I won't lose no, you. Um, when I run out of electricity on here, man, was sucking the gas 17 liters per 100 kilometers. I was getting 17 or something like that, too. Um, this road's hit and miss depending on how they grade it or whatever, so we'll just take our time. We're at the 15 kilometer marker. Are we going to stop and shoot birds? If you see one. <laughs> So I've never been on this particular road and Tom tells me we're going to set up at the 15 kilometer mark. That'll be base camp and then we'll four wheel out 100 kilometers down back roads and trails and whatever uh, over the next four days. All right, Ty, get on her and do it. No, I'm not doing it. What? Here, Ty. I'm going to make that easier next time you want it. That's for insurance purposes. <laughs> yeah, right into the trailer. <laughs> He's going for a twofer. <laughs> Um, how many Watkins does it take to put on a new gun rack? Hmm? We're training. One's in training. Tom's going to make it romantic in here. Nope, warm. So somebody came in here and cut down a whole bunch of cedars and then they were planking them which you are not allowed to do so there's one there one there one there these were all live one there a little one another one over there yeah and then they were taking slabs off of them so we'll use a couple of those slabs for benches around our fire anyway, but there's always one arsehole, dare I say. <laughs> this end is really slippery, can you flip it over? We didn't cut this down, we're just using it. <laughs> Little lake down here at the end of the campsite.
Oh my God, it is cold. Gonna go down to minus two tonight. I think we're already there. Time for bed, gonna try to sleep. Whew. Worst part about minus five. Last night was cold. I think we hit minus five at one point. Um, yeah, it was so cold that even with a sleeping bag and a big blanket over top, I still curled up in a ball all night, muscles tight and shaking. This morning, I couldn't straighten anything out. I think I'm just getting old. That's what it is. Gary's getting old. Alright, seeing as I'm the first guy up, I better get that fire going. See a little bit of life down in there. Hi, you call yourself a hunter? Those partridge aren't gonna shoot themselves. Time to get up, buddy. What time 7.30. My new invention for bird hunting. I take my bike helmet, so I uh, am still protected, but I can shoot because there's nothing on the side, and then I throw my orange hat over it so they don't even question. Where's your helmet? It's under here. <laughs> Who's thinking now? This guy. Tom, I'm on to something here. What? Look at this. Your bike helmet. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Looks like, a eh? Helmet. Looks like a normal helmet. Yeah. And you got the straps, so uh, I think you'll have to try this. I have a half helmet. Oh, this one works, big spender. I wasn't going to drop 100 bucks on a new helmet. Mm. We'll see if I get a $100 ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna wear your flip flops, Tom? Nope. Gonna look like a hunter today. Alright, let's do this.
this spot just looks a little squatchy. Just stop for a pop and Ty says, can I shoot the cans? Can't eat the cans, boy. Save your ammunition. <laughs> so much to teach this kid, Tom. <laughs> Good job, Ty. Does this mean we can celebrate with Doritos now? Yeah. <laughs> and a Dr. Pepper? I was eating a Doritos on the back. So we'll clean them when we get back and see how well of a shot you did. Did you eat its heart, Ty? No. <laughs> we just put, he just asked if we could. It's right there. You're supposed to eat it raw, eh? You like do it. when you kill your first deer, you gotta take a bite of the heart. What is this place, Tom? This is Ferguson, Sandy Inlet, Ferguson Bay on Lake Tomogamy. Tom says this is the beach that we have to see, so we've traveled 30 kilometers. I hope it's good. Pretty spectacular for Northern Ontario. How oh, nice is this? <laughs> oh yeah. Just keeps going. <laughs> oh yeah. That is a beautiful beach. Not a soul here. On a side note, Tom tells me that that mountain out there, right there, is called Devil's Peak? Or Devil's Mountain? What did you say? Devil's, Devil's Mountain. Devil's Peak. What are the other? Devil's Peak. Those are the places where there's always legends and lore why those places get named that. No, it's like a white goose. 